In this video, I'm going to give you a tip on how you can teach your dog to drop the ball so that you can play a game of fetch with them. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this German Shepherd here. So I'm just going to toss the ball. And what you'll notice, a lot of times your dog may come by you or in your vicinity, but they tend to parade around with the object because they really like it if you attempt to chase them. So that's one of their favorite games is for them to have an object and then you run after them while they play keep away with you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to practice exchanging for another ball. So I've got a, another identical ball in my pocket and it's really important that when you're playing this um, you want to have two identical toys because the dog will often show favoritism toward one of the toys. And so what I'm going to do is when I toss the, the one ball and she comes back in my area I'm just going to kind of tease her with this ball and sometimes it may take a little while before your dog is able to drop it. You may have, you may have to bounce it on the ground or um, throw it up in the air. At some point your dog is going to drop the object that they have and as soon as they do that you're going to say good and you're going to toss the other ball. Okay so let's see how this process starts to work. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of tease her with this toy. Drop, come here girl, tease her, good. As soon as she drops that ball, I'm going to mark that with good and immediately toss the other one. Good girl. Drop. And you may notice, I, I and eventually want to get it to the chucky, but I may have to really put it in my hand at first to get it to drop. Good. Good girl. Drop, and that's all. Very often they'll do these big circles around you. So I'm going to tease, good, and throw. Hey, I wanted to hop in here real quick and make a really important point. If you've been watching some of my videos, you know that I generally work with untrained dogs. So I really never know how they're going to act when I start to uh, turn on the video camera. This is this German Shepherd's third session with the ball, and. To my surprise, she started dropping it quicker than I thought she would. In the first session, it took me about a minute to two minutes of teasing the ball that I had before she would drop her the ball that she had. So you may notice when you start this method, the two ball method, um, that it really takes some effort on your point on your part to get the dog to drop the object that they have, especially if they're in a habit of playing keep away from you. So I just wanted to make that uh, point. I know it looks uh, pretty easy in the video, but that is definitely not always the case when you start to practice this method. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna show you what happens if I reach for the toy. So it's really important at this phase that you are not trying to reach for their object because as soon as, if your dog has been playing keep away for a while, as soon as you reach for it, they're gonna take off from you. So watch what happens if I reach for it. See that? All right, so we don't want to do that. Just tease her with the one I have. Now notice just after I reach for her, good. It took a little bit longer to drop it, right? So we really want to uh, make the focus on the t toy that you have. Now once they are starting to uh, drop the ball that they have in order to get another toss from the ball that you have, you can start to advance it. And what I'll do is I'll start to just tease them with this toy, this ball, and then drop. I'll show you. Drop, tease, and I'll play with the same ball. And then eventually this ball may come into my pocket temporarily. I'll say drop. This ball will come out periodically. All right. Come here. Drop. Good. So that time she just dropped it on her own, I immediately just threw the ball that um, she dropped. So I just keep practicing with these two balls until eventually the dog is starting to just drop the one ball that they have already and I'm just playing with one ball. All right, so try this with your dog and let me know if it works out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Good girl.